Praise the Lord. We've been discussing trusting God and you know, like you know, it's pre-recorded. We we'll just split it into days so that we can benefit. So our test is first King chapter 17 and from verse 1 to 9 is the days of the discussion. And we have talked about connecting to the shepherd. We have talked about connecting to the provider. And we have also said to that you must connect to the all-sufficient God. Now, today, we want to take it a step further. Now, the Bible says in Psalm 127, Except the Lord build the house, the good that did it, except the Lord watch over the city, the watchman will get it in. And you see, you say it is shameful, it is reproachful for a man to wake up early morning, rush out, come back, and he literally bread the sorrow in that not be our portion. And we find out that the Bible says not by power, Zechariah 4 says, not by mind, but by my spirit says it. If you accomplish so much and God is not in the center of it, God will be vacuum. That's why I say that if the Lord that make it rich, the blessing of the Lord make it rich had been so. Every kind of blessing makes rich, but may not. Be without sorrow, it may not be without worry, it may not be without the vacuum of need. I've seen people before that have so much money and talking about suicide. I've seen people before that have a good marriage, but because they have no children, they hated everything. I've seen people before that have children and because they don't have resources to take care of the children, they feel bad, they feel like selling the children. See, everything you do and God is not in the center of it, you need a vacuum. And that's why they have to say, accept the Lord built. So, except you trust God in whatever you are doing, the vacuum of want will still be there. The vacuum, that's why the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Because that vacuum of want will be filled by God himself. And that's why the Bible says clearly to us, in verse 7 and 8, what we read, it says, the brook dried up. The brook, where it was being fed, dried up. And now, there are times, it is God that asks you to start that business. It is God that asks you to go to the relationship. It is God that asks you to do it, but doesn't have a storm. Jesus was with the disciples in the sheep, and there was this storm. But God wants you to trust Him. The disciples were trying to use the energy to stop the storm, but He didn't stop the storm until they trusted Him to stop the storm. And the storm stopped. Maybe you are going through a storm now. The Prince of Peace is waiting for you to hand over the battle to take us. Your body will be the Lord for years. God bless you. We'll see you soon.